Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Be Nimble Candle Creations. This is Paul and um, haven't uh, made a video in just a little while um, but I'm back with a new video and um, I just recently went to the sage.com and um, also uh, referred to as um, MMS, um, it's, and I think that is, um, initials for Majestic Mountain Sage, so, but their website is thesage.com, and I purchased these fragrance oils, um, and these are from the Twilight, um, movie, they're inspired by the Twilight movie, um, and I couldn't help it and I bought all of them. They actually came in a um, like a one ounce sample pack um, each one and we have Alice, Bella, Carlisle, Edward, Emmett, Esme and on the back row we have Forks, Jacob, Jasper, Rosalie, The Meadow where they played baseball in the first movie and the Voltari is the evil vampire group. Um, and the Forks is obviously the town that they live in. So I just wanted to show you guys this um, and tell you a little bit about them. The Alice fragrance, she, um, it says that it has orange, lemon, and linen. Um, Violet Jasmine and Mimosa, Sexy Amber, a Sheer Wood, and Musky Side. It's really nice. It's, it's a lot more fruit. Um, it does have that little bit of uh, just like a musk wood, but it's really super. Um... Alright, the next one is the Bella scent. And... In the books, they describe her as floral, uh, lavender, or, or a freesia smell. Um, and in this, this fragrance, they have, and I'm reading from the website, um, they have done notes of rose, iris, violet, and a soft musk. It's fresh and innocent. It kind of smells, it's, it's very floral. So if you like a floral scent, then that's a really good one. Uh, next is Carlisle. Of course, he's the dad of the vampires, the doctor. Um, it's a citrus linen in fresh air with a touch of melon, amber, musk, and precious woods. This, actually, it would be, make a great soap. And I'm smelling it now, and I'm getting more of the linen scent. That would make a great candle, too. Um, <clears throat> here is the Edward scent. And in the books, he's described as smelling like honey, lilacs, and sunshine. And this scent is... They do play on the honey, lilacs, and sunshine uh, vibe, but they also add a bit of vanilla, heliotrope, dry wood, grapefruit. Um, they describe it as a young and sporty type scent. I'm going to take a sniff. It is kind of a cologne um, scent, so this would be a great, uh, soap. And I wouldn't be surprised if any of these you could mark it as, you know, the names of the, um, from the movie and, you know, fans would, uh, may, may buy it. I don't know. I may do something like this for, um, you know, maybe in the fall or during October or something. So anyway, here's the Emmet, and it is very masculine. Um, it has bay, rum, lime, mahogany, amber, vanilla, and bergamot. So Emmet, I think, is like the muscular vampire. It's very masculine. It's a deeper scent. This would make a great soap. The next one is the Esme, and her scent is fresh, calming water type. Um, think of green melons, fresh air, wildflowers, jasmine, violet, cashmere, 
and musk a classy and happy scent so it's a very cologne like a woman's cologne woman's perfume type scent it, it's nice the next one is this one in the back this is the forks scent and it is a green and woody and evergreen with fresh mountain rain to and um, clean air so it has a lot of moss velveteer lemon um, very fresh woodsy I really like this you can smell the moss um, it does smell like out in the woods I really love it this could be a candle or a soap the next one is the Jacob so he is a blend of evergreen woods moss patchouli and sensual musk um, it's deep yet fresh scent and entirely masculine so I smell the patchouli for sure I smell the woods there's that little hint of musk it's a guy scent it's a male men's cologne scent the next one is Jasper he's kind of like the blonde he seems very frail to me in the movies but I'm sure he's not since he's a vampire um <laughs> So he is described as quiet but wild, calming but edgy. Um, he has a bit of fresh air, cucumber, green pear with, uh, I'm not going to say this word right, clylemon, um, lily, green melon, amber, and musk. So I'm going to take a sniff and this would be a great soap it's super fresh it's not too heavy it'd be a nice candle too in my opinion the Rosalie she's a deeper scent than Alice and she has got French lavender um, with violet white rose iris woods and sweet musk um, very feminine but certainly stronger and more animalistic and that is their district description it, it definitely is it kind of reminds me of like a like my mom's like powder that she used to wear when I was growing up um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not here is the next one meadow and it is a bit of green a bit of earthy a bit of electric um, this is supposedly inspired by when they were playing baseball and the lightning striking um, it's a bit of grassy green melon rich wood vanilla and vanilla so it definitely has a grassy more of a grassy scent to it um, there's a hint of a floral so might be a maybe the grassy is more of the you know like a grassy melony scent and the last one is the Voltari. This is royalty among fragrances and the top among vampires. And it says it is made up of lemon, lime, lavender, amber, combined with cedar, clover, and patchouli. So this is a rich, sexy, and enticing scent. And I'm reading the description. It's actually not as deep as you would think. You smell those lighter citrusy notes in there, but it's a nice well-rounded complex scent. So it's very nice. And they say that you can make soap, lotion, candles, or perfume out of all of these scents. So I hope uh, maybe you'll check these out and maybe I have inspired you to pick these up um the mms prices sometimes are a little higher than normal but their fragrance oils are super high quality so anyway if you're curious hop on over and check them out thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you later bye